Hey guys, it's Jeff and today I just wanted to show you a really cheap yet reliable SSD solution from WD and that is Western Digital. This is the WD My Passport 1TB SSD which is of course the SSD version of WD's My Passport drives which come with a small mechanical drive built in. Now, just taking a look at the outside of the device, it actually looks quite good. It's light and very small, and I'd say that you could even fit this into your pocket quite comfortably as it's way smaller than a mobile device like your iPhone 8, 8 Plus, or even an iPhone 10. It does only come in one color, but I do quite like the silver and black colors that come with this device, so I don't think you'll have a problem with that. Moving on, let's check out the connection type and the speeds we can get out of this drive. The connection type is USB-C, which is appropriate for an SSD, but you can use a USB-C to USB 3.0 cable if you wanted to. WD does include a USB-C to USB-C cable in-box, but they also include a USB-C to USB 3.0 adapter as well. So let's check out some of the speeds we can get on the Blackmagic speed test for the Mac. Using our USB-C cable on the iMac, we can get much higher speeds, so let's try that method out first and then switch over to the USB 3.0 connection type. First, the USB-C connection type, we get around 434 megabytes per second write speed and a 462 megabyte per second read speed. So those are quite good. Let's check out the USB 3.0 speeds. Obviously, they are going to be a little bit slower, but if that's all that you have on your device, then it's definitely worth taking a look at some of these speeds. So we have a 383 megabyte per second write speed and a 401 megabyte per second read. Honestly, both speed tests are really, really good and really good compared to a hard drive with a mechanical disc built in. So you can obviously see the benefits of using the USB-C connection type over that of the USB 3.0 connection type, but either way, you'll be getting much higher speeds than a standard mechanical drive. If you are the owner of any of the recent Mac products, you will for sure have the USB-C connection type, so you should definitely consider this as an option. Even if you don't have that connection type, it is still a good option as you still get some really good speeds with this SSD. Before we go though, I just wanted to do one more test and that is a file transfer. I have a nine gigabyte file that transferred in just over one minute with the USB 3.0 adapter and with the direct USB-C to USB-C connection, we get that file transferred in just under one minute. It actually worked quite quickly. So guys, all in all, this is a really good solution for mobile storage, and it only costs $99 for the 256 gigabyte model. If you are a content creator, you should definitely have one of these in your pocket because saving footage, editing off this thing will be extremely smooth. There are two other models with the higher storage counts, which will be linked below. I believe that comes in around 500 gigabytes and a terabyte, which is the one I have here. If you have any other questions or comments about this WD drive, please write them below in the comment section. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button, share with your friends who might be interested, and also get subscribed for some more upcoming content. Anyways, that's all the time that we have for today, but hopefully this video shared with you some awesome tech coming from WD. So guys, stay tuned for some more upcoming content, and I'll catch you all in the next one.